Workers on the front line of COVID-19 are here to deliver a message to the president. Don't bankrupt frontline responders. People call us heroes, but to be honest, we, without adequate support, we feel like sacrificial lambs. We are here today asking Congress and the federal government to take quick and decisive action to make sure that the hospitals and the frontline staffs that serve them get the funding that we need to stay open and to stay staffed. We need a stimulus for workers. We need the federal government to supply at least $500 billion in funding for state and local governments. Anything less does a grave disservice to the brave men and women who put their lives on the line daily to protect our communities. President Trump, do the right thing. Don't bankrupt us. COVID-19 heroes need the stimulus plan for our workers now. I've never been more proud to be a nurse. And yet every day when I clock in, I wonder how much more will we be asked to sacrifice without adequate support from Washington, D.C. To be a public servant, it puts yourself and by extension, your family at risk in order to protect the greater good. On top of this, elected leaders are saying that the crisis could lead to funding crisis worse than the Great Recession. The city and county of Los Angeles are projected, projecting massive revenue losses because of this disease. Furloughs, staff reductions, and other contingency plans are already being discussed. The future isn't hard to predict. Once we get out of the crisis, elected leaders are going to try to balance the budget on the backs of the workers who got us through this crisis. The mayor has already proposed a cut of 10%. It will impact our streets, our water, our beaches, our emergency services and safety, and our efforts to reduce homelessness. Over the course of the crisis, Congress has sent hundreds of billions of taxpayer dollars to big businesses and millionaire CEOs. We've seen this before. The Great Recession Day, they got bailed out, we got sold out. The same people putting their lives online, on the line during the crisis could be on the unemployment line in a few months without action. Furloughs to county workers will mean sacrificing lives, the very lives of the community members we've been working so hard to save. We're already short-staffed, and now with health care workers being exposed and contracting COVID-19, staffing levels are even lower. The ones that are left can only do so much over time to meet the need. Whether you live in Watts or Northridge, this affects all of you with this shortfall. If cuts are made to the hours of these employees, all the effort, all the staying home, all the social distancing, everything that we've done collectively, to fight the spread of the virus, everything will be for nothing. We are the reason why the numbers of the cases are slowing down. Every essential worker has played a role in the fight against the coronavirus. We stepped up for our communities. Now we need the president to step up for our country and be there for us. Essential workers, like everyone here today, we have rolled up our sleeves to do what it takes to get the job done. We are asking the federal government to join us. We are essential. We are not expendable. The moment America sheltered in place, it was the opportune time to make America great again. Don't miss the opportunity. Thank you.